Let me show you how we can integrate task mining logs into a promoter and analyze them together with logs that come from an enterprise system and refer to an end-to-end -end business process. Let me start with the log of a loan origination process as an example. As I double click on this log, a promoter will reverse engineer the business process behind this log and it will show me the process map. As I switch to the duration overlay, I can quickly see that there is a resource capacity bottleneck around activity analyze offer. While this activity per se doesn't take long, about 25 minutes, I can see that um, I've got long waiting times leading into these activities. Times that take between days and even weeks. I can animate historical data on this log and I'll quickly find out that indeed I have a bottleneck at the doorstep of this activity. I can see the loan applications queue up waiting for someone to become available to analyze the loan offer. So let's find out who performs this activity and where that activity is performed. I press Ctrl Alt and right click to isolate that specific activity. Then I switch to the role perspective and I can see that this activity is performed by a credit officer. If I flick to the resources, I'll see that there are three resources that perform this activity, specifically Francois, Carel and Magdalena. And if I move to the system, I will see that this activity analyze offer is performed on top of Salesforce. All right, what I'm going to find out now by using a task mining tool is what's really going on inside this task. What Francois, Magdalena and Carel perform when they analyze an offer. To do so, I want to import an event log related to instances of this activity analyze offer that I have created by installing agents on the workstations of my three credit officers. So I've collected this data through my task mining tool and now I can proceed with ingesting that into a promoter. As I open the data set, as usual, I need to tag it. I'm going to use as case ID the ID of each session that has been performed by these three resources. The task name for all these sessions is indeed Analyze Offer, and it is a productive task type. I will use as activity the application, and I can already see that while indeed some of these sessions are performed, on Salesforce, there are also other applications such as a document management system, OneNote, Outlook that are involved. I can also tag the application type as an event attribute of type perspective and so the screens. If I want to analyze this task at a finer level of granularity below that of application. Then I have the start and end time when using each application the resource, which is indeed these three users like Carel, Magdalena and Francois, their role, credit officer, and then a bunch of attributes they refer to my task, such as the status, the number of mouse clicks, the task progress, the screen order, the screen duration, and so on. Let me upload the log. Okay. As the log has been imported, I double click and then Apromore will reverse engineer the interactions between the different applications. I can see that everything starts with Salesforce, but then the user actually gets out of Salesforce to send some Slack messages to use Word, to use the customer management system, to go to the internet and then through the internet to their knowledge base and the CRM clients list use a document management system, use Outlook, Teams, OneNote, and so on. There's quite a lot of stuff going on in this task. And I can overlay the usual statistics that a promoter provides out of the box. Like, besides looking at the frequency, I can look at the duration and see where my users spend most of the time. Of course, if I look at the resource, I will see those three resources, Francois, Carel, and Magdalena. 
I can also look at the application type. See, I've got core apps such as uh, Salesforce, supporting apps, document app, comms app, etc. And at a lower level of granularity, such as the individual screens, of which I have really many. So what I can do now is to create a sublog for each of the resources. I will do one for Francois. And by going to the activities perspective, I will see basically the set of routines that are performed by Francois, 92 out of 121. So I will save this log as uh, Francois. I will do the same for Magdalena and for Karel, simply by switching the resource. So instead of Francois, I'm going to pick Karel and then Magdalena. Karel has only done it six times, so I don't have many instances of Karel. And finally, I'll pick Magdalena. Who has done 23 out of 121, that is 90% of the total. And of course, for each resource, I can see their average, mean, and maximum time for performing this task. Okay, now that I've got the three logs, I can compare them. And to do that, I select all of them and I launch a multi log dashboard. This is going to compare the behavior of these three credit officers. In blue, I've got Francois, in red, Carrel, and in yellow, Magdalena. I can see the number of instances that each of them performed. Francois performed 92 instances of Analyze Offer, Carrel 6, and Magdalena 23. Francois took on average 8.9 minutes. Carrel 3 minutes and Magdalena 6.17 minutes. If I move to the activities tab, this is going to show me, given that by activity we tagged the applications, it will show me different patterns of behavior in the use of the different applications. So, given that the number of times each of these three resources perform this activity is quite different, I better put this in relative scale to see it better. And then I'm going to compare this part in terms of percentage points. Now, some interesting patterns emerge. While the use of Salesforce, the DMS, the CRM clients, the internet is more or less the same, I can see that the cost calculator is used a little by Francois, not by Carrel, and significantly by Magdalena. I can also see how much time do they spend on performing a case. And in this example, the case is indeed the execution of the entire Analyze Offer task. Usually it is Francois that spends the longest time on each of these applications, aside from client portal, PDF reader, and operator that are only performed by Magdalena, as we saw before. So in essence, these type of dashboards allow me to compare the different behaviors of the resources that I have observed through a task mining agent. And the idea is to identify, first of all, what is the optimal way of performing this task, which could be used as a template for revising the operating guidelines. And secondly, to find out effectively if the task can be automated. So we saw that there is a bunch of applications that have got nothing to do with Salesforce, which is the enterprise system where this particular activity analyze offer should be performed. So we need to find out now by interviewing these folks why they need to send emails via Outlook or messages on Slack or use the Notepad or Microsoft Word, etc. in order to perform this task. This will allow us to understand whether these actions on such applications are really indispensable for performing this task or whether this is just because of lack of training or experience or because information is simply hard to find so that eventually we can figure out whether this task can be automated by a bot or not.